finally out of uh youtube jail my account had been uh i had gotten a, a strike on my account for my video where i literally was reading off of the cdc website for the potential side effects that the cdc was looking out for that video somehow got flagged as disinformation and my account had been banned for almost two weeks and i was like how are you going to sit here and say i'm spreading disinformation and i and i had to wait almost a week and a half for them to re re allow the video to go back up and it was probably just because it was gaining too much traction so they decided to put a put put a halt on it and then basically wait so the whole situation died down and then come back and then release it and unfortunately so i haven't been able to release any content because i was basically uh not allowed to have a second strike my first strike was i think right after the elections and then miraculously we had access to uh the vaccine and that video of course uh, awarded me my first strike in any event um, this particular video that I'm talking about is is engaging a little bit more about someone that I do follow by the name of Young Ripper, and I did want to touch on something that he that he talks about in this video, where he talks about AOC, the left, and talking about culture. And I, I just wanted to talk about something, and I'm going to let it play for a quick second. So that's my thing, and this is why I'm doing all of these different things because I I feel like that's where the battle is is fought. Why you go and write off AOC? You go and write her off? You and that's what y'all. That was a mistake that conservatives made, right? Where you saw AOC pop up and y'all just treated her as she was just this ditzy lunatic that was ever that was never gonna have any influence. Influence? You were stupid. I go look at my old videos. I was calling it calling that out a long time ago. I said she is the future of y'all's party or of the Democratic Party. I might not like it. Hell, the people that stab like I don't want to say the establishment, because she's just as establishment as them. But the other folks that have been there, like the Pelosi's of the world, may not be the most fond of her, but that doesn't mean anything. That was the future. And now all she does is exist, and she's my age. Like, her and I are literally the same age. I think we uh, graduated high school a year apart, if I'm not mistaken. Same year or a year apart. So, to, un to understand it from... To understand it from the male perspective of what exists on Twitch, most people who either fairly do streaming, like most males who do streaming, and most content that is absorbed via Twitch is typically of is typically from young men who have very little in the way of female interaction. That's one. Of, that's why um, Twitch was willing to ban words, you know, like simp, um, virgin. Like if you refer to somebody, typically you, it's mostly males. Um, that are being referred to as exhibiting this sort of simp-like behavior where they're, it just literally means taking your, your most average woman and putting her up on a pedestal as if she's a 10, a supermodel, etc. And you're sitting there showering uh, her with money so that you can get attention. That's basically the uh, behavior that gets called out by other men. And it's not out of hate for other men. It's that it's, it's one of the ways that men teach other men when they're exhibiting or doing some sort of bad behavior that they're trying to get them to change that they, this is, this is basically what typically what men do. It's it, what's, what gives men a much tougher external, um, as they say, thickened skin, because typically the world is much harsher towards men than it is towards women. And so of course, Twitch was willing to ban uh, the use of those words because that's where most of their money comes from. We weren't doing they weren't doing men a favor or young men for ex uh, as an example a favor by saying if you start you know calling people you know simps and virgins etc that uh, we're going to ban you as if they were doing it for the sake of their people they that's where their money comes from and that all they're doing is ensuring that there that the amount of uh the amount of pushback, right, from that sort of behavior is minimized, right? That's why AOC can come out and defend women who go on uh, platforms like, for example, OnlyFans, where you have like medical professionals. I've seen, you know, other nurses, um, people who, you know, women who are in other professions, teachers, etc. And then now they're, you know, making nude videos on OnlyFans. And you have someone like AOC, who is a politician, who can go up there and say, this is glorious, this is fantastic, you know, this is whatever, you know, to praise women. But the real issue is that 
you know, the woman has to do this because people don't earn enough. Mind you, she is stealing money from you, the taxpayer, right? That same woman, that same young girl um, that I talked about in one of my last videos, who was an EM, who was an EMS worker, and she was also working on the side of OnlyFans to make enough money. AOC, because she's paid for via taxes, is stealing money from that girl. Because that girl is going out into the private market and she's going out and earning a living and AOC is extracting resources from her. And so AOC and people like her add to the very problem of why many of these young and black people um, are being taxed and are, over, are overburdened via taxes and have to do other things um, to earn ends meet also via, of course, uh, printing of the dollar, which the government is doing. But the point that I wanted to touch on in this particular video, which was he was referring to culture. Now, from the right standpoint, the conservative standpoint, the conservatives could never go out there. And well, I should say they have. The conservatives have gone out there and have tried to um, implement the sort of church culture, the sort of um, like not aborting your baby just because you made the bad choice of sleeping with someone and not utilizing one of the 30 protection forms of protection that women have. The left will say that that is completely within your right to abort your child. It is completely within your right to kill your unborn child. Um, and by, of course, they utilize language like, well, it's not even a child. It's just a fetus, right? So they change the language. They change the way the language to suit what your need is. So if your need is that you need to abort this fetus, well, then they'll just say, well, that, that is within your right. But if someone, for example, attacks a woman and as a result injures the child, then that then it becomes a child, right? So they, they just manipulate the language to suit, lie, to, to, to suit the woman at the particular time. And from the right's perspective, you can never do that. They're, like the right doesn't maneuver that way because that's manipulative and it's disingenuous. But the left is more than likely to do to use to utilize that. And so you can't go on Twitch and try to be on the right. You'll get blocked. You'll get banned by the by by Twitch. And so for Young Ripper to say, well, that the right has not utilized culture to the extent to basically bring about effective change. Like he said, AOC is basically the future, right? The only reason that AOC is even be, is relevant is because she is an attractive woman. She, go, she goes on TV. You'll see her sometimes. She doesn't even wear a bra when she goes out. So her breasts are exposed. This is the sort of woman that she is. So she's more than happy to utilize her sexuality and other women's sexuality for personal gain. The right is not willing to do that. For the right to do that, the right would literally just turn into the left and then be absolutely in a point because you would literally be removing everything that you stand for in terms of your principles, which is typically most people on the right are typically God-fearing people. And so most of their principles about how the right moves is as a result of the culture of the right that stems from the Bible. So the Bible promotes being honest, it promotes freedom, uh, it promotes personal responsibility. The left does not appreciate any of those principles unless it's for their own benefit, which is what you're watching today, right? So the, the left can say rioting is okay on the left by BLM or Antifa because it suits our needs and the you know blacks and hispanics can go out and riot because they're mistreated but whites can't go out and do the exact same thing because that's white supremacy right so you can't you can't sit there and have an argument based on logic when you're constantly moving goalposts and changing language right there is no way to wage war in essence from what he's referring to from a cultural perspective. When all you're willing to do is just keep moving the goalpost, you're, you're, you're willing to change language and what words mean, there is no way to, in, in essence, wage some sort of a cultural war against the left. Just It's just not going to happen. Your only way of hoping, and of course you can't do that on any of these leftist platforms, as many of you have already witnessed via being banned from things like uh, you know, Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, Twitter, unless you go out and completely make your own platform. And even you see um, 
with Parler. Parler went and tried to do that, and then the left completely demonized all of the content that is basically on Parler and said it's all, you know, sort of uh, Nazi propaganda, etc. right? So they can sit there and change the meaning of words for particular people so that they can then go out and use force against them and this is the whole point of this video is that when the ability to use logic and reason fail the only means to effect change is force and that's basically what you're seeing right that's basically what you're seeing with what's going on in the past couple of days just in just in the beginning of 2021 you've seen the left utilize force while at the same time telling you that it's wrong for you to utilize force and of course they always refer to it in violence and, as, and violence can come in different sort of in different sort of means um but at the end of the day it all revolves around the use of force and that's basically what all these individuals are doing they're utilizing force and when they don't get their way they they verbalize um the use of force they'll just say well they don't, they're not physically grabbing hold of you and physically restraining you, but then they're more than happy to go out and utilize companies to block your ability to speak. They'll demonize you. They'll, they'll completely uh, try to misclassify everything that you do in terms of your actions, your intentions, etc. And then on top of that, you have no elites, right? There's no politicians on the side of the right either. There is no leadership on the side of the right, right? While there is overwhelming leadership on the side of the left and the use of force via police, via so, uh, social media, removing people from social media, um, attacking your place of business or attacking where you work, attacking where you bank, etc. Right. They're, they're just literally. And of course, the way that they do that is just by changing how they label you. Right. So they will just label you as a Nazi. They label you as a white supremacist. They Even if you're black, like I'm Hispanic and I've been labeled as a white supremacist and I've seen and other heard other people who are black and I, they've been labeled as white supremacists or you've been kidnapped by the white man and then subsequently raised in a white environment and that's why you espouse white supremacy so this is just the purpose of just changing boundaries so all that it is it's just moving changing the way what, what words means for the purpose of utilizing force to cause you to become subjected right? so to be to, to basically to put you into subjection and that's what the left is trying to do. The left will utilize the police, they'll utilize politicians, they'll utilize social media, corporations, etc. Right? Um, they'll utilize all these forms of force. Not everything comes in the form of violence, of physical violence. Not everything is attacking you, you know, with you know, uh, you know, literally ripping you from your homes, although they are willing to do that, but it, it's not the way that they're typically doing it. They typically utilize force from the standpoint of the government, right? Through either the government, through social media, through many of these, you know, big tech, many of these big programs. What he is referring to is not possible for the right in terms of trying to manipulate culture. It's not possible because every time the right would try to do that, the left would just demonize them and they would attack them. They would deplatform them. That's happened multiple times by the right. It's why people who are on the right that are on YouTube have to be very careful about what they say and how they say it because their videos will just get demonetized. Their videos, you know, their, their channels will just get demonetized. There's no, and, and, and their ability to reach people just is not possible for them to have the sort of reach because the left controls the media. And so at some point, someone on the right will rise it will it, that's just human nature eventually the right will become so oppressed by force by utilize of force in every way right in every way shape or form you, we're even talking about here in new york where cuomo is um looking to put in like fema camps for people who who they deem as uh a threat medically like if you're contagious and and the, the wording of the law is so vague that it's not exclusive to just coronavirus right so that if they deem you contagious they can remove you from your home by force via the police right and then they can put you in a hospital like environment whether it's a camp or an actual hospital and force vaccination until you are no longer deemed a threat medically to society and you would be surprised i've spoken to people at the hospital other nurses and doctors, and many of them are completely okay with this. And the moment I bring up, what about the right to refuse? It's like, it just disappears. And this is, this is oh, the overwhelming problem is that 
the left is completely okay with the utilization of force. And he even talks about um, the non, uh, non-aggressive pact. That is irrelevant when you have an entire side that wants to basically put you in a camp, right? So you can be a libertarian, you could be right wing, you can be anything but that's on the left, right? And it doesn't matter if you say, well, I'm not going to use aggression if your enemy is looking to utilize aggression in, in the many forms that it can take. It's not just via, it's just not just via violence, right? Because they can utilize, you know, they even try to utilize and say the police and they'll bring police to your home. They'll arrest you for, you, you know, protesting, which you have the right to do, but they'll change your protest and they'll just say, well, your protest was actually, um, you know, an act of terrorism. They'll, like I said, they just change the meaning of the word. To, you know, they'll just change the label that they utilize on you to justify going out and doing whatever it is that they want to do. And there's no way that you can fight against that unless you're willing to utilize force. That's just a reality. Eventually, somebody on the right will rise and that will, will be the answer. It's the only answer. When logic and reason fail, The only thing that remains is force. If history has not taught you anything, is that eventually when the other side gets tired, when when the common folk got tired of being subjected to the king, what did they do? They rose up. It's always been the answer. It's just currently the left does not want you to, they demonize you whenever you do utilize force and make you seem like you're, the, you're a complete monster. At some point, you have to say, I don't care what your opinion is, and you just have to be willing to utilize force for the purpose of protecting yourself. That's just a reality of what is. Eventually, the right will understand that that is the only answer until we can come to the table and actually use logic and reason, you know, soundness of mind, being able to utilize our words that actually have meaning behind them and that are consistent, right? That we have to have words that we utilize in a consistent way. Until then, the only answer will be force. And when the right when the right realizes that is when the left will be willing to come back to the table and have real sort of discussions about because people are always, you know, I watch all these different videos and people are like, we have to find a way to come together. The only way that you're gonna come together is when you realize that force is the answer. And then when they say, okay, we want to start speaking again, then you can go back and use logic and reason. Until then, the answer has always been force, and it always will be force until people realize that on the right, and until there's leadership on the right that realizes that, because everybody on the right says the violence is not the answer. And you, you can't even listen to those people, because if all they want to use is utilize courts that are happy to use force against you, right? They don't even want to hear your arguments. They don't want to see whatever evidence you have. It's just you're automatically guilty. The politicians don't only like, same thing. Like it, they just all completely ignore what you're trying to bring to the table in terms of of arguments and trying to create peace. They're not willing to hear that. It's just demonize, weaponize, weaponize force in every in every way, shape, or form that we can to for the purpose of uh, for the purpose of uh, basically keeping the right in subjection. That's all that it is. It's, it's everything. That's all that this is, is just doing everything that the left can to make the right in subjection to them by force. And hopefully one day the right will realize that.